This video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound. Hey, what is up guys? David Zhao here, and today we're gonna talk about how to get licensed music for your videos. We're gonna talk about how music licensing and copyrighted music works on online platforms like YouTube and Instagram, and how Epidemic Sound offers a perfect solution for both content creators and professional videographers. Even though this video is sponsored by Epidemic Sound, I've always said that I only work with brands that I personally can 100% get behind, and I've been using Epidemic Sound as a paying customer for over three years now. So this truly comes from the heart. With that out of the way, let's get right into today's video. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Let's start talking about how copyright and music licensing works. Any songs created by music artists that work with labels, for example, Bruno Mars and Universal Music Group, are copyrighted to protect their intellectual property, which makes sense if you produce music, movies, or any form of art. The last thing you want is for someone to rip it off for free, and worse yet, to re-upload it and make money off of your work without your consent. Earlier in the Wild West days of the internet, it was hard to enforce copyright protection, but as technology advanced, platforms like YouTube and Facebook developed automated content ID systems. While there's definitely an argument for fair use in certain situations, if your income is reliant on YouTube ad revenue or publication of your professional work, for example, wedding videos or commercials, then you really don't want to play a losing game of Russian roulette with copyright music. The best case scenario is you risk your video being demonetized, and in the worst case scenario, you risk your video be deleted get a copyright strike, or have legal action pressed against you. To get around this issue when producing your videos, you have a few options. One, you can produce your own original music. Two, you can get written permission from someone to use their music. Or three, you can purchase a license to use music from someone else. I'm assuming you're watching this video because you're curious about how that third option works. In the past, and it's still an option today, you can find sites that will let you pay to license a single track. And this can vary, but I remember many years ago when I was trying to make a short film, to get the rights to a single song was at least a few hundred dollars. If you're a content creator making a bunch of videos on YouTube or have dozens of wedding videos you edit each year, that's gonna get expensive really fast. That's where Epidemic Sound comes in. They've adopted an affordable subscription model that starts at $15 a month. Epidemic Sound offers their entire library of music, over 35,000 tracks, with new tracks added every week. And this isn't just like generic sounding music. These tracks are professionally produced and all original. They vary from epic music overtures that could be the backdrop to a Lord of the Rings movie to modern trap music that you could blast out of a sports car. And when I say this library of music is huge, I mean it. When I go through the songs, once in a blue moon, I'll find a song and I'm like, oh, cool, that was used in a Peter McKinnon video. But 99% of the time, I'm finding new bangers that I haven't heard of on any other videos online. On top of their library of music, they also have over 90,000 sound effects in their library as well. If you watch my last video about how to shoot better product videos, I talked about the importance of sound design and how music and sound effects can make a huge difference in immersing your audience in your video. All of the sound effects and music used in that video, as well as all of my videos here on YouTube and for my client work, is all pulled from the Epidemic Sound Library. Everything from background ambient tracks like city ambience, restaurant ambience, beach ambience, winter storm ambience, forest ambience, whether it's sound effects for generic transitions like whooshes, waves, planes, cars, to even more specific sound effects like slurping straws, dropping marbles, closing blinds, clicks, clacks, slaps, snacks, you name it. Another one of the unique things that Epidemic Sound offers is that for their music tracks, you can download the full song or download the individual stems that make up that song. These stems include the bass track, drum track, instrument track, and melody track. So instead of having to decrease the volume on the entire track for dialogue, you can instead bring down the audio on everything, but maybe not the bass line, so it blends organically into the scene, as if you're some kind of sound engineering master. Another example is at the beginning of this video, I wanted to use the track Top Speed by NBHD Nick, but the vocals come in way too early, so instead I just use the instrumental parts and move the vocals to line up with my intro sequence. So let's talk about the two tiers that Epidemic Sound offers. The personal plan, which is $15 a month, or the commercial plan, which is $49 a month. With either plan, you get access to the entire library we just talked about. The personal plan covers you if you're producing content for the internet like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitch, and podcasts. You get to register one channel per platform, and it's not any more expensive whether you have 100 subscribers or a million subscribers. 
and it lets you monetize your content without worrying about having your content copyright striked or demonetized. If you're a professional videographer that produces content for clients, whether that's a wedding client or a commercial client, you're covered so that you can freely utilize their giant library of music to enhance the videos you're producing without having to worry about individual track licensing. I'm not gonna lie, I personally think that their service offers an insane amount of value when you consider how much you get with your subscription. Here's a cool fact that you probably definitely did not know. Epidemic Sound is on Spotify. Whenever I'm trying to think of ideas for a video, whether that's for YouTube or for a client video, I pull up their Spotify, find a genre that matches the vibe I'm going for, and just start shuffling through their music to get inspiration. As a matter of fact, forget Lo-Fi Girl. It's all about that Epidemic Sound Lo-Fi playlist. If you are interested in checking out Epidemic Sound, you can sign up for the personal plan using my link in the description down below to receive a free one month trial. The best part is that even if you cancel your subscription, after your one month trial is over, any videos you upload during your trial will remain safe and protected. You know, I've also been thinking about hosting a micro short film competition lately. Hear me out, open to all subscribers, make a short film that's like one minute long, focusing on the sound design techniques we've talked about, and the first place winner would win a cash prize. If you guys want this to happen, let's get this video to 100 likes and comment that you'd be down to enter, and this could be a thing. All right guys, that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and get notified of when new videos are released. I'll be in the comment section to answer any questions you guys have about epidemic sound, sound design, or about the short film competition I talked about. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Peace. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Fit it up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Hey. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up.